Hi, I want to show you today how you can use this website gpsvisualizer.com to download your GPS data and to create a map that you can save and uh, send by email, share by email, uh, for example, with uh, somebody else. So to start off, you can simply choose uh, your file from there. You can upload your .gpx file. You choose the output format. So we're gonna keep the Google Maps format and click on Go. And here is your simple map with your uh, itinerary represented by the GPS coordinates. So this represents my trip in, uh, in Paris from my friend's house back to my house. Now, if you want a more elaborated map uh, representing more, uh, more data, you can choose one of these options there to input your data. So let's pick up Google Maps. And there we've got a more elaborated uh, menu. We've got many options and we've got the possibility of downloading many files uh, at the time. So we're gonna start by uploading our GPX files. Okay, so this represents some of my trip. I recently uh, tracked my trips using a, a Trimble uh, application on my iPhone. It's a really good application and uh, it is the free version. Uh, and then I just had to uh, download uh, the, the map from uh, the website. Okay. So we've got our GPX files now. So we've got three GPX files, so we can also choose to add more if we want. Uh, the width and the height of my uh, window uh, is okay. Full screen mode, uh, we give a title Paris trips. Initial my type will be Google Street Maps, so we've got uh, the choice uh, among a full range of uh, background maps. Uh, and we will uh, choose to represent the data for the elevation. So we can keep the default color as it is, uh, as it will be graduated uh, according to the uh, elevation of each uh, GPS coordinate. And now we are ready to create our map. So we we'll just click on draw the map. So here we are. Uh, this is uh, the three GPS files represented by uh, these layers. Here we got the legend. We can choose to uh, change the background map. So we can put a Google hybrid, okay. Or an open street map background. We can also turn on and off uh, the tracks. Okay. So the nice thing is that we can decide to save uh, this map. So we're gonna save it uh, under Google Maps to our desktop. Okay. That will be saved in a HTML format. And then once we open it, it's a full page map. And we can uh, also uh, email this file, this HTML file to, uh, to somebody. 
somebody else uh, would be able to, to view this map. And you've got much more options on the on this website. I recommend you to uh, to have a look at it and to try some of its capacities. Hope that you like this uh, presentation and uh, if you want to access this website just click on the link below the, the, this video. Thank you, bye bye.